Hello world, welcome to the 221st video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Please consider subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and leave a comment with uh, your favorite Christmas song. And so, this is a continuation in my Christmas Lights playlist. Uh, if you haven't already seen it, please watch my 2023 Christmas Light show. And it was cool. And it was great for my YouTube channel, but you can only hear the music if you were uh, watching the video from my YouTube channel. And so what I want to do now is get it where we install the FM transmitter so you can listen to it in your car as you drive by my house. And then also I could put a radio on the outside and play it so people walking by can hear the sound. Or else it just looks like a bunch of crazy lights uh, going on and off on my house and so you really need the music to tie it visually into what's going on and so I'm not sponsored by them but I am using holiday coral products um, watch my whole playlist uh, to get to the point where we're at now but in the product search just go ahead and look for FM transmitter and there's only one of them on this site and so this is what it looks like here and so just add to cart and buy it. And that's pretty much it. Uh, very good review feedback. I don't have any knowledge of any other products that, be can, that can be used with this. The output is just an audio jack output. So I imagine you can use any FM transmitter. But if I'm already using Holiday Coro products, I guess in my mind it makes sense to just use their FM transmitter until I decide I need another one. So now that we um, bought it, let's wait until we get it and let's open it up and see what it looks like. All right, so once you get your package delivered, it'll come in a box. And uh, this is all the instructions you get, kind of giving you some information on where to plug things in. And this is what it looks like here. So this is the FM transmitter itself. And then just uh, different plugs. So here is one if that has some braided wires that you can um, imagine solder plug in. The normal DC input right here. That plugs into normal DC. Um, and then here's a different plug right here. Both have a similar connection. And so I believe this one is actually different. You see how this one is a long or a larger thing right here? I think this is actually the correct DC input. And so, and then you also have this DC uh, input right here, or I'm sorry, the audio input. And so if we look at inside our Hinks Picks Pro box here, you can see right here is the DC input right there. All right, so let's plug that in real quick. Plugged in there. I'm going to go to our transmitter here and we're going to unscrew these two tops right here. I think this is part of the the weatherproofing. So unscrew that. And then like the instructions say, this is where the DC goes in and this is where the audio clicks in. Okay, so I would uh, thread the DC into the cap first, or I'm sorry, the audio input into the cap first. So it looks like this. And then go ahead and plug that in to the audio. Like that. And we're gonna screw that on. It doesn't screw flush like that. And then the DC input 
We're gonna thread it through here as well. And then mine came with this like plastic safety thing. And when I went to go push it in like this, um, it broke the plastic casing. And so I don't know the rubber casing, but it fits smoothly in there now. And this one does screw in more tightly. And so you can screw that in like this. There we go, it's a tight seal. And now we're gonna go plug in the Hingspix Pro Controller and the FM transmitter so we can test it. So let's go. So now that we've unboxed it and checked it out, kind of plugged it in, before we run it and test it, let's do a quick look. So I live in a city called Bossier City. So go ahead and put Bossier City or whatever you live, um, Bossier City radio station lists i don't know something like that and find a website called radiolocator.com and this just gives you a good view of all the frequencies of all the radio stations near me and the signal strength from where they're coming from so you can kind of click on this signal strength to see um as you can see like this one has an arrow pointing to less and and what you want to do is deconflict for your local area. So I think the default is like 88.1, and that's what we'll use for testing. And as you can see, there's no radio station pumping on 88.1. However, this radio station right here is uh, at 88.5, and so it might get kind of close. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, I've watched quite a few Christmas light shows, and I noticed most people use frequencies in the 90s. And so... I'm not going to test it in this video to see which uh, frequency is the best. And so I'm just going to test it using the default radio station for now. But I need to do a good testing as the year goes on on which radio frequency is the best for this area with little interference. And so now that we've checked this, let's go ahead and go to go outside, plug in our Hinks controller and the FM transmitter and test it out. So here we go. All right, so we're out in my front yard and I just have this uh, on the ground right here because I plan to get my uh, front yard redone, do some different landscaping and I don't want a permanent install until I figured out what I'm doing. So I have both the Hinks Pix Pro and the Holiday Coro FM transmitter plugged in uh, just to a uh, extension cord like this and so right now I don't know if you could see but uh, it is at 88.1 and it is currently broadcasting and we just checked and made sure that that wasn't a frequency that was going to bother anyone however I've already done testing on this and I don't think uh, I'm going to be in the 80s I'm going to try to find a blank signal in the 90s because I heard that's clearer and uh, has less uh, it's, it's better in the vehicles and so now we're gonna go check out what it sounds like in the car but just want to quickly let you know that if you plan on going down this hobby just know that whatever song you choose you're probably gonna hate at the end of it because uh, if you're familiar with X lights you're gonna chop up the song into a million pieces um, by the second slow it down and you're gonna hear it over and over again so as such, we're going to listen to this song in the car as well and kind of test on how far it goes. So let's go into the car. Okay. We are gonna tune this to 88.1. And you can hear that it's kind of staticky. And this was the song from my 2023. And that's 
pretty much it. That's how the FM transmitter works. And now it's in my car. And so the plan is to get a radio as well that I can tune to that signal. And as people walking in my front yard, they can hear the song as they approach. The FM transmitter does pretty well in terms of distance. And so um, it's probably not gonna look the best on the GoPro, but this is my main street here. And at the end towards the right is a stop sign. And that's about where the signal starts dropping off. Um, again, it's pretty staticky, but I think that's because I need to be in the 90s in terms of frequency. And then going down this road right here, I'm on a half cul-de-sac. Same thing towards the end of the road, it goes all the way there. So I'm hoping that in this large area right here, people can kind of line up and watch the show from my house. So that's the FM transmitter. I hope this helps you. If it did, let me know which song you plan on programming to in 2024. And thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.